Dennis, how are you doing? I'm good, and yourself? I'm pretty good, thank you. Um, you know, I know it's been forever, but I want to know how much of your French is left. Uh, de, toi, cat, cinq, six. <laughs> That's good? Yeah, That's good? Bit, look, what else? A little bit. Come on, you gotta, you gotta try something. Je m'appelle Udonis. Je m'appelle Udonis, yeah, yeah. That's um, easy. Bonjour, obviously. Um, uh, not that much. I remember my teammates, my coach, Greg Bonio. Uh -huh. I played at Chalon Sercion. Um, I had a chance to play with uh, Dabu Cephalosha. So I remember a lot of things, but not so much all the language. But I know how to count. Count, uh, count the money. Yeah, that, the that, money. that matters. That <laughs> matters. Uh, yeah, that's funny, though, because I wanted the younger like people in France to know that you actually like started your pro career in France. How did that ever, ever happen? Uh, so um, I wasn't drafted. Um, out of the University of Florida, had an amazing, you know, college career, but I wasn't drafted, unfortunately. Um, and I had a couple opportunities when I left college, um, and one of them was to go to France. Um, as I weighed my options and looked around, I think it was the best opportunity for me professionally. I think it was the best opportunity for me um, personally, as far as the lifestyle and the living and the opportunity to grow. Um, and I had a chance to play for one of the, you know, better coaches over in Europe, um, Greg Bonio who was at that time, you know, was a very, very good coach and was somewhat of a legendary coach back then. So um, everything just fell into play for me. And I'm sure like Greg will be super proud that you have a word for him right now. Do you still have connections over there? Yes, I follow him on Instagram. I talk to him sometimes on DM. Okay. Um, and just keep in touch with the team and the guys over there. You know, they're actually playing, they're, they're now playing the second division Pro B and they are playing next week on Wednesday, like the final game to actually go back up to the first division Pro. Uh, let's go, fellas. Let's go. I remember being in that situation um, in my last year, not having such a great year. So we had to play to make sure we stayed in Pro A. Mm -hmm. So we played and we won and we stayed in Pro A. But uh, let's go, fellas, man. Let's get back up in that Pro A now. The message is gone. Um, Yudi, I want to talk about you. And I want the people in France to know more about, uh, about you, about who you are. You're a true Miami guy, like born, in, born and raised. And, like you went to school there and high school there, like uh, middle school there. What does that mean being from Miami? What's the identity over there? Um, I think growing up in Miami, for me, it just built a, a, a resolve and a, and a strong character to overcome um, different obstacles that might be in my way. Um, every day was different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, I never really had a chance to wake up one day and say, OK, this is my path and this is what I want to do and I'm going to chase this every day. Every day was different. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the best thing you could do is just stay out of trouble, keep your head mm -hmm. down and focus on the things that you could control. Um, I was a football player early. Mm -hmm. um, in Miami, South what Florida. What position did you play? Defensive end and tight end. All right, cool. I was a football player early, and I got hit in the knee. Mm -hmm. And I quit right there, and I was just stuck with basketball. So ever since then, basketball has been my passion. Um, I had the opportunity to play for a great coach in Frank Martin, won state championships, and went to the University of Florida. You spent, like, I don't know, so many seasons with the Miami Heat after that. What made you stick to that franchise? What happened? What's the connection? I mean, I think sometimes things are bigger than basketball. You know, and for me, I always saw the big picture. Um, being born and raised in Miami, having an opportunity to bring championships to the city of Miami, having an opportunity to impact the city of Miami outside of basketball, give back to my community, give back to my family, give back to the kids, provide jobs. I think everything for me, um, based on you know, starting here in Miami or mm -hmm. starting in Miami, and I just wanted to continue that. I didn't want to change that. Everything I wanted to do, I wanted to impact the city of Miami. Uh, you did this, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but these finals are your last dance, right? Yes, yeah, the last one for me. Are you trying to soak it all in? Yeah, it's, that's the, and that's the, the balance that I search for every day is the balance of enjoying the moment, taking it in, um, but still being a fierce competitor and driving my guys towards getting that ring. So you have to have that balance. Do you start feeling a little bit nostalgic maybe? Like be like, you know, next season, like when September comes, there's no, like, you know, like training camp. Oh, never, 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 never. I'm the kind of guy that... Um, Whatever it is and whatever I find, I'm going to make sure I give it the best version of myself. Um, so whatever I do moving forward, uh, it's going to be something that I'm truly, truly invested in. That way I'll make sure I give it the best version of myself and it's easy. One last thing you, you did before I let you go. Um, these finals, like you guys are down 1-0. We all know your role on this team. Did you get to talk to the guys? What, what did you tell them like before game two? Um, we'll be fine. We'll be better. Um, and all the championships that I won, we lost game one too. So um, all the championships that I've won in the past, we've went on the road and we've lost game one and we okay. still won those titles. So game one is just game one. It's only one game. Let's get ready for the next one. Got to have a short memory. All right. Well, thank you so much, Yudi. Uh, that was a pleasure talking to you. And uh, I'll say hi to the people in Shalom. Yes, Shalom. sir. Shalom, sir. Let's go, fellas. <laughs> thank you so much.